Paul. Today in East Lansing, 35 rescue divers were in the Red Cedar River searching for Brendan Santo. The 18 year old from Rochester Hills went missing. Halloween weekend has not been seen or heard from since. Victor Williams live in East Lansing tonight with what seems to be a massive effort, Victor. Yes, I don't think anyone expected this search to last this long, but take a look behind me. Notice these guys, they have been busy all day searching the Red Cedar River, looking for any type of clues they can find with one goal in mind, and that's to find Brendan Santo. Obviously, we'd hope that they would have, you know, found him by now safe. Carolyn and Mara are two MSU sophomores who still can't believe Grand Valley State University student Brendan Santo has yet to be found. I mean, it's still super scary. Nobody knows what happens. So. Michigan State Police Officer Chris Rosman says there are 35 rescue divers from Oakland, Macomb, Wayne, and Washtenaw County Sheriff's Departments carefully searching the Red Cedar River for any trace of the missing 18-year-old. Each of those teams brings with them a set of divers and technology um, in addition to the boats that are being utilized on the water. With the help of sonar equipment and dark vision goggles, rescuers have been looking for any clues that can lead them to Brendan's whereabouts. However, the mission so far has been challenging. The depth of the river is 8 to 12 feet at some points. Uh, the visibility is 0 to 2 feet, and there's about a 5 to 6 mile an hour current. Yet these divers aren't planning to give up until Brendan is found one way or another. We understand that at this point, uh, you know, any Thing that we find in the river would be a recovery operation, but we are exploring other possibilities at this point as well. We are committed to uh, this operation and to bring Brendan home. I especially am just very sad for his family. I can't even imagine what they are going through. And the search appears to be wrapping up for the day with Brendan Santo unfortunately not being found. But the family of Brendan Santo is remaining optimistic. They have sent us this statement, which reads, in addition, we have had civilians reach out to offer their service for other search options and the task force is coordinating with them. We remain hopeful that Brendan will be found and back home with us. Victor Williams. Local four. Uh, Victor, we know there's 35 divers out there today, but others joined in too, right? That's right. We had a whole lot of people out here, a whole lot of agencies looking. We're talking about over 100, and that's because of 50 FBI agents deciding to come out there and offer a helping hand, wow. as well as MSU State Police as well. Yeah. All right, Victor.